Welcome to Off-Grid with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave, and today we're going to see how much power this Harvest Right freeze dryer uses to freeze dry a load of onions. So let's get to it. So we use this freeze dryer a lot. Sonia uses it. I just enjoy the results of it. So we use it a lot, and we've always been curious if our trailer would be able to power this. But what we're going to do is I'll reset the meter, we'll close this up, get it started, and it's a two-day test. Well, it's a two-day run, so onions take about two days. Uh, some stuff takes more time, some stuff takes less. Some stuff takes 24 hours, some stuff takes almost three days. So if we were to freeze it ahead of time, the onions, <clears throat> it'd be a shorter cycle, but I'm letting it do a full cycle. So these onions were just cut up a few minutes ago, and we will run them and then see how much power we use. So I've already reset the meter. So we will close the door. <clears throat> Hit start. It is running right now with the microphone. You might not be able to hear it running. It's 580 watts. And it looks, it looks like it's dropping. So let's see, 480 right now. So that's the freeze cycle. So the vacuum pump's not running. So in a future video, I'll go over what's all, all this extra stuff is here that's not on a normal freeze dryer. So after the freeze cycle uh, occurs, which is probably almost a day, almost 24 hours probably. I, I don't know off the top of my head. But then the vacuum pump will kick on and it'll start to draw vacuum. And then it'll go through a heating and freezing process inside, do all its mag magic. And then roughly two days from now, I'll let you know the time. But two things we're curious of is I want to know how much power it uses, see if I can use it in a trailer. And secondly, I want to know how much a full cycle costs when we do use it inside the house. So we will see what happens two days from now. Check back in periodically and see how much we're using total. We'll come back later. So we are partway through the cycle. See those onions. So we are drying and no finish time displayed. We're at 24 hours. $3 in total cost. And we've used 15 kilowatt hours so far. Current wattage is 600 watts. And that's in the drying process. So the freeze dryer just finished, 49 hours. Cost is $6.75. It used 33.77 kilowatt hours. So in summary, I use the freeze dryer to freeze dry 10 pounds of onions. I got them to fit into nine Mylar bags. And it used 33.77 kilowatt hours, which was over a 49 hour period. So that's a pretty big load. It's three times what I have available in my trailer. Now, under perfect conditions, if I had full sun and didn't need to have the air conditioner, which probably isn't going to be likely, I probably could run this and only this in the trailer, hoping that I could charge fully before nighttime from the sun. But this is big anyways, so it's probably not going to go into the trailer. But if we ever do have a full off-grid house... Uh, I just need to make sure I have enough solar to, to run this in the house. So that's something to look forward to later on. But in the house, uh, it costs $6.75 to run the unit per load. Now every load is going to be different. So some it could be another 50% more if it ran for another day. So it could be another $3.50 more. So $10.50 if it ran for three days. So it's still worth it as opposed to buying freeze-dried food. Um, plus this is fresh from our garden. Uh, you can make your meals, put it in here. It's your stuff. It's not something somebody else had made. 
So this is one of the largest loads I've ran so far. It ran consistently for two days and it used a lot of power. So if you like more videos like this, subscribe to the channel up here. Watch more videos down here. Have a good day.